Hey all, topic for today that we are going to discuss is how do we set up digital engagement in Salesforce that would enable our customer representatives in Service Cloud to use a SMS channel. So I have been writing this blog and this video I, been, I would be attaching to uh, this blog and this blog has all the detailed step that we are going to discuss in the video. So if you are already watching this video, yeah, you can go ahead and you can skip this one and I would be directly coming back to the setup part on how to set up a digital engagement. Uh, now, first of all, what exactly is the digital engagement and why we are talking about it? As we know, around 2016 or 17, Salesforce acquired Haywire and as a part of that, we had a live message that we used till this point 2021 for SMS based uh, integration you can say or enabling customer to contact Salesforce by an SMS and then there are tons of uh, app exchange product as well however digital engagement is a new product from Salesforce where they are trying to unify all the channels at the same place in the omni channel so going back to setting up the digital engagement for Salesforce go to the setup from here and search for the messaging I am already in my messaging section and you have to enable a message now you can have a multiple uh, phone numbers or multiple mobile numbers that the users can use to reach out to you definitely you need to purchase a license from Salesforce and let's assume that you have a license and everything go ahead click on the new channel here and while setting up the new channel, we do have few options at the moment while we are recording this video. But in the future, Salesforce is planning to add some more channels like WeChat, Apple. Those are all right now in a beta or pilot. Here we are talking about SMS text messaging. Select that one. So first of all, you need to have a letter of authorization and that you need to work out with your carrier, uh, whoever is your phone number, text message carrier like AT&T or Verizon, get it from them and uh, and basically uh, you are going to have a US long code or toll free number for messaging. Uh, fill out this letter, download that one and once you are done, open a case with Salesforce and attach that LOA. Salesforce will get back to you in a uh, few days. In my experience, I have seen enabling takes around 24 hours and then you're all set as you can see in my org i have two mobile numbers and uh, uh, we are going to test uh, this mobile number and i have saved in my mobile phone as you can see this is my live mobile i have saved that number as acme travel customer support so once you set up everything uh, you definitely need to have omni channel and you need to have a presence status so as you can see i have a tons of presence status in my omni channel right now i'm in a sales cloud console you can be in the service cloud console as well all that matters is you have a omni channel enabled in your org i will go ahead i will click on all available and let's test it that how it's gonna work so now I, on right side you can see i have my mobile live and i am going to send sms now to so as you can see i already sent one message just few minutes before recording this video hey there if the customer initiates a message uh, what that means is customer is by default giving a consent to salesforce that salesforce can contact so i'm gonna type uh, for example i have i need some help uh, in setting up Facebook chat Facebook chatbot let's assume now on the left depending on what is your routing uh, configuration how many agents you have live right now I'm the only agent here I'm going to accept this the moment I accept this incoming work uh, already service cloud console open up with all the related information as you can see and on the left here let me minimize omni channel as you can see the whole history of the conversation with the user would start up here so like it started with hey there and as a service rep i can see everything here and also right now there is no contact exist and this gives you kind of the 360 degree view of the service cloud you can go ahead you can create a new contact here and uh, add more detail you can create a case add more detail and the conversation that we are going to have each conversation is going to be the part of messaging session 
so let's go ahead and I will say uh, as a rep I will say welcome to Salesforce how can I help now let me open my mobile and see if I got notification as you can see I am getting a more notification I am also getting in a, my Gmail because my Gmail is enabled with the SMS here and I will say let's assume that thanks for thanks for quick response now I send it here and you can see it should appear immediately here and all the sub tabs in service cloud console gets highlighted as you can see uh, it's all working well pretty fast pretty native doesn't really feel like an integration and setting up it is very straightforward definitely the different country would have different compliance rule and the regulation rule that you need to make sure you are setting up upfront and uh, as you can see here service cloud console team I will say the customer service cloud team in Salesforce has done excellent job in combining all the digital channels together I am talking from an SMS if someone is using live chat the experience for the internal Salesforce trap is going to be exactly same someone using Facebook chatbot someone using whatsapp everything is going to be exactly same interface and all the details are on my fingertips here I will see on the related one in fact let me try to open here so I, my contact is here and uh, as you can see I contacted customer two times Salesforce two times so two session got created if I in the chat here let's assume it I contacted two times now let me contact again from my mobile I will say hey there again and in my omni channel I should see the pop-up because as you can see pop-up appeared here I am going to accept that again even though it's a multiple session as you can see here if I go on this tab let me see let me close it here I will go on the related as you can see uh, now there are three sessions and because customers try to connect three times now the good thing here about is it's all it's not a real time it's not like CTI where customer have to hang on for the long time uh, if customer want they can reply after five minutes or ten minutes every time the customer would reply maybe the same rep would take it over or maybe different rep would come here however the whole history is available in very nice UI uh, interface where the, there would not problem in any handover any knowledge gap if the reps are being changed between the different, different conversation so hope this video help you uh, you understood uh, how the SMS based integration works in digital engagement thanks for watching this